So apparently this is the culprit in the latest round of Harbor Freight drill recalls. And I am actually a little bit surprised. Of all the things I consider the weakest links in the drill, this would not have been my guess. My guess would have actually been the battery charger. It has the uh, battery connector, which appears to be some sort of a glass-filled nylon. It has a uh, LED wired in with the resistor in line. It's clearly just tacked onto the bottom onto these uh, power leads. So let's take the thing apart, see what's inside. A heat sink will slide off of there. This is actually my guess for the Okay, so uh, on top of this uh, kind of two-piece module, you have the uh, the actual speed controlling portion here in its own little self-contained uh, module, and then on top you have this uh, direction selector. And they all seem to be kind of component uh, built up like that. That seems pretty common in the cordless, cheap cordless drills. Cut this off, and you see that that reveals the manufacturer. The rating: twelve amp, seven point two through twenty four volts. So let's open up uh, this direction E switch. All right, so inside it's just a uh, looks like some spring loaded silver plate ish contacts there. This little uh, crosswise contact bed with uh, little spring connectors holding the wires in. It's it's uh, all. It's all held together by by the case. These little spring contacts. Wires are just shoved in. Again, it all seems to be uh, glass-filled nylon, and the contacts all seem to be some sort of like a uh, like silverish plate over looks just like copper so again all in all not too terrible looking Let's see if we can get that sky silicon Uh, let's see what's inside this speed selector body. Okay, so inside there's a little spring spring loaded plunger on the back of the uh, switch there. Wire contacts. This appears to be some sort of like a uh, maybe a bypass, so that when when the uh, trigger is depressed all the way, it's merely bypassing the uh, the MOSFET. And up here, there's uh, some sort of a, a spring-loaded switch contact that uh, interfaces with this. traces printed on 
circuit board to give you the speed control. I'm fairly surprised that this is the uh, the weakest link in the Harbor Freight cordless drill chain. So now let's uh, let's see if we can get one of these things to uh, to fail here on the bench. Okay, so I have a sample Harbor Freight battery. And I will use some alligator clips to wire that into this uh, Astroflight watt meter. So we're getting about 19 volts off of that pack. And then wire that onto the positive and the negative. And LED comes on. Be using my light bulb load tester. See, it's much easier to tell without the motor running. This thing has a definite uh, whine to it with the pitch that starts. Starts at a couple of uh, kilohertz, then has maybe five or six different steps. It goes higher and higher and then it's either goes either out of the audible range or it's uh, hitting that bypass. So at full, uh, full clip there, it's pulling something like 12 amps, pulling down the battery. Now oh, that heat sink gets hot mighty fast. Battery connector's warm. Motor wires, battery wires are a little, little, little soft and warm. Uh, put not so much. Heat sink is right, right toasty. The uh, the case of the FETs pretty warm but heat sink seems to be doing what it's supposed to pulling the heat out let me get my thermometer zap this thing heat sinks right around a hundred degrees oh, battery sagging out let's see if I can replace that with something a little more stout okay let's try replacing the battery with this uh, Astro power supply so that'll give a solid uh, Solid 12 volts. There's the bypass. 13 volts, 9 amps. This that's about 110 on the uh, the FET package. At least this unit seems to be doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I find it hard to believe that that these uh, <laughs> these batteries actually pack enough uh, oomph to uh, make anything hot. I, they, I mean, the cells are so junky. Well, all is said and done, it's it's uh, these <laughs> these seem pretty solid to me. So, meh, who knows?